The Penn State community and many, many others. Today morning, the loss of Fran Fisher, the broadcasting legend and former voice of the Nittany Lions, passed away early today at the age of 91. It was Fisher, along with Joe Paterno, who played a huge role in putting Penn, the Penn State football team on the map and becoming the institution that is now known worldwide. And with more on Fran Fisher, Gary Sanderson joins us live. Gary? Jen, it is a sad day here. Fran Fisher was loved by millions. A classy guy, always had a sharp mind, and also had quite a sense of humor. He used to like to joke about the day when he, the days when he was more famous than Joe Paterno. That was back in the 1960s when he and Paterno would get in a car and barnstorm through Pennsylvania, just stopping in various radio stations. But eventually he became much, much more than just a football announcer. Fran Fisher became one of the university's best known ambassadors. What a man. You know what's in sports you have iconic voices and Penn State had its iconic voice. The current voice in Nittany Line, Steve Jones, talking about Fran Fisher. In downtown State College at the Mural of Legends, Fisher is depicted next to his former broadcasting partner, George Paterno. Yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that you could kind of smile about is that he and George are up there, you know, somewhere together now. Fisher passed away Thursday at 91 years young. He broadcast Nittany Line games in an era when Penn State wasn't on TV that often. If you weren't at Beaver Stadium to see a game, Fran Fisher was your connection to Penn State football. Fran was always self-deprecating as to how he told people, as to how he broadcast football. He always told everybody the old standard joke, you get two games for the price of one, the game that you're watching, the game I'm broadcasting. In later years, Fisher becoming a historian, a commentator. Yeah, no, I'm philosophical. And a well-known fixture at Penn State. Right, and that's where when you talk about somebody being a goodwill ambassador, it wasn't just his voice on the radio. This was a guy who was at alumni events. This was a guy that was at the team hotel uh, on the road for football games. The thing I loved about Fran that I think made him larger than life is that, ironically, he never thought of himself as being bigger than a game. Fran Fisher's broadcasting career at Penn State began in 1966. In announcing his father's death this morning, Jerry Fisher probably said it best, saying he had lost his best friend, his mentor, and his hero, and going on to say, Fran Fisher was Mr. Penn State. Sentiments shared by many today. We're live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.